long time vinyasa for yoga instructor. Today, this class is going to be a sort of, you know, new year, new you kind of <laughs> year to take up yoga class. Um, you see a lot, a lot of often times, uh, the new year, when the new year comes, people decide that the year they're going to you know, take on something new. Yoga is oftentimes one of those things. But where do you start? What do you do? It's really daunting sometimes to go into a group class and you feel like everybody knows what's going on and you're like, I don't know what's going on, but I really want to do yoga. And that sometimes turns people off um, doing yoga, just the fact, very fact they don't know what they're doing. So this class is a real sort of beginner yoga class for that sort of new year, new year time. <laughs> and I'm just going to run you through some of the things you might encounter in most classes. Um, some classic poses, and sun salutations, very classic version of sun salutations, and just break it down a little bit, explain a little bit more, you know, alignment sort of oriented of this class. Sort of 30 minutes of just breaking down the, the kind of key poses that you probably would want to know and start practicing a little bit, maybe even with this video on your own before you go and try a group class. Um, you know, feel free to have, take a break or have, you know, have a little play with things. If you have any injuries, of course, modify for injuries. And I'm just going to try and yeah, break down some of the stuff that I think would be really helpful for, for just complete newbies to, to yoga, um, certainly vinyasa flow yoga, which is the style of yoga we're going to be doing in this class, okay? So I love for you to just, we're just going to get standing. It's a 30 minute class, so I'm going to get you in, like I said, to salutations, sun salutations, I'll break those down. Um, I'm going to have you open up and warm up the body a little bit, just very um, kind of simple standing um, kind of stance here where you open your feet a little wider than your hips. Maybe take a nice breath, roll those shoulders back, and then just sort of feel that nice sense of, of calm come over you. Take a big breath in, big stretch, you know, whatever feels good for you there. Take a nice big stretch up, and then just kind of hang forward. And when you hang, you may want to bend your knees a little bit, just to sort of hang. Now, my hands come towards the floor. I've been doing this for a while, right? Don't worry about it so much. In fact, I'll just turn this way so you can see a little bit from the angle. You, know, you might want to grab on to your, your elbows a little bit, cross your arms. Slightly bend your knees and just hang here, just hang forward. Enjoying the sense of just loosening up your lower back, your shoulders, your upper back. Just that nice sense of shifting and just, yeah, that overall just sense of warming things up. A little rush of blood to the head, always very nice, always very helpful. So just take a couple more breaths here. You might want to see how I'm sort of leaning a little bit to my toes. So I'm, I'm giving myself a little gentle stretch to the back of my legs. You know, it's not, you don't have to force anything here. You just kind of very relaxed, uh, sort of ragdoll-like place position. Take another breath and then let your hands dangle towards the floor. You might want to bend your knees a little bit more than they were a moment ago if they didn't, they weren't bent at all. And they don't have to be, but just now maybe bend them and just kind of walk your hands up your legs. Take a nice big breath in and roll your shoulders back, okay? We'll come to the top of our mat, so come onto the top of your mat. You may want to bring your toes more together for this or a tiny bit apart, not as wide as we just had them, but just a tiny bit apart to give you a little more space in your hips, okay? You play around with the two versions, see what feels best. We're coming to basically standing tall, it's called Tadasana or a mountain pose. You know, standing tall, you can have your hands by your sides if that feels good. Sometimes people like hands in, in prayer pose. You just take a moment to kind of come to the center space. And just a couple deep breaths here. Okay, nice breath in. And a nice breath out. Breathing in. And breathing out. We're going to reach up to the sky again. So we're going to lift up to the sky. Nice big breath in. Open up. With the breath, open up. And then a nice kind of swan dive breath out. Some kind of exhale. So sort of reach, reach, reach. Again, it's okay. Maybe your hands come to your shins. You know, just because you're a beginner doesn't mean that necessarily your fingers won't come down or you're not flexible or athletic. So, you know, I'm not going to make assumptions here just because you've not done a lot of yoga. Just see wherever your hands go, they go. So you can just kind of take that nice forward hold. Then you want to look a pathway. And in this case, it probably is good for most people to just kind of bring your fingertips to their shins so that they encourage the sense of lengthening the spine rather than just crunching your neck, which is what a lot of people do. You know, there's no sense in doing this. This isn't going to give you a whole lot. You want to sort of lengthen. You feel this sort of nice, long sort of stretch to the backs of your legs called half forward fold or Paisa um, Ardha Uttanasana. And then exhale and just release back down. And then again, you might want to soften your knees a little to come back up. You may not need to, but you decide. Nice big breath up. 
You can bring your hands to prayer. So that's just a like half salutation. Let's do one more of those just a little more fluidly, okay? So you inhale, rise up. And then a nice big breath where you just exhale, 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 exhale. So keep breathing as you lower. Inhale, looking up halfway. You just kind of, again, it's more of a sort of lengthening, like almost an L shape. Exhale, bow, back down. Inhale, back up to the side, please. Open it up, breathe up, lift up, take it maybe a bit back. And bring your hands into prayer in the center, okay? So let's continue. We're going to inhale up to the sky. We're going to open up. And we're going to exhale all the way down towards the floor. Okay, all the way down, 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 down. Now, we're going to lengthen halfway again. We'll soften our knees, and we're going to step our left foot back in a low lunge, okay? Make sure your left foot, when you take it back, don't take it behind your right foot. Make sure you just step it back in its own line, okay? Its own sort of line there. Then what we're going to do is, we're going to take ourselves where we bring our hands a bit more flat, and you just take your right foot back behind like you're going to do a push-up, okay, like you're going to do a push-up. So you kind of come into a plank pose. You can keep your knees on the floor if you don't feel like, you know, your arms can support you in a really healthy way. If you feel you're collapsing, no sense. Keep your knees on the floor. It doesn't really matter because in the moment, we're, we're, everybody's going to bring their knees down, so we're all going to kind of bring our knees down on the floor. And then when you lower, please slowly lower with your elbows kind of into you, not out. So a key thing, mistake people make, they have this. Ugh, they just kind of collapse to the floor. Don't do that. <laughs> Again, not beneficial. It's not going to help you. So what's the point? Elbows into you and sliding down. So you're trying to bring your sort of nose and chest and, you know, everything sort of down slowly towards the floor. And then you can extend your legs out. So the toes are the pointed. Now, again, no elbows out on this. Elbows in. Just a small cobra. So it's a little bit of a back bend. Key things to look out for. Shoulders. Ugh, like that. We don't want that. Shoulders away from your ears. And you just get a nice breath in. You know, take a, a moment and then exhale. Tuck your toes underneath, please. Now again, push into your hands. Elbows quite tight to your ribcage. I have to let them check it out to the side. And press back your heels, or your hips, sorry, towards your heels. So you see how I have this sort of long line. I'm working in my back and my arms. And then we'll soften a little bit forward to, to, to kind of push up off the floor, push the knees off the floor. Now what I don't want to do is stay over. See how my shoulders are quite over my wrists? I don't want that. It's not like a half plank, half down dog. You want to go into downward facing dog, which is essentially moving away from your wrists. So you see the sense of a triangle I have in my body, okay? You wouldn't want it too short. You wouldn't want it too long. You'll have to play around with the distance that feels right for you. Same thing with your legs. You don't want them zipped up together. You don't want them really far apart, and you can do that. Those are different variations that are valid, but in this case, just about hip distance, just so I can talk you through the pose of it. And then spread your fingers out, and just that nice sense of, see how I'm sort of pulsing a bit back? My chest is drawing towards my, my thighs, so I'm not, again, I'm not coming forward, and I'm not kind of collapsing back. I'm just quite even, you know? You might want to bend, in fact, let's bend one knee, Straight out the other now. In this case, I'm just showing you how your heels may not be on the floor. Your heels may be touching the floor. Not so important. Happy for you to just, you know, take a few breaths just to stretch out your legs. So you're going to know pretty quickly, you know, where should I go with this? What should I do in terms of should I have, you know, my knees slightly bent or my hamstrings are really hurting? Then yes, perhaps um, you may want to slightly bend your knees or just work your heels towards the floor depending on, again, your flexibility or no flexibility, <laughs> so just see, it's okay. That's the whole point, we're trying to gain a little bit of something here, right? Gain some flexibility, so you start from where you are. A little walk forward, a little stroll, I always tell people, just, just a few steps, and as you do that, your hands will probably come off the floor. Take that half forward fold again, please, and then exhale and just fold it in. Inhale, reach up to the sky, open it up, breathe up, lift up, and bring your palms into prayer, okay? So we're going to keep moving right along it's a short class. You might want to do that a few times in a class, normally in a, a sort of a, a standard class, flow class. You might do that salutation that we call that sun salutation A. You might do that three, four times, that rep of up and down, downward dog, five breaths coming back. So just now you know how to do it. You may want to do it a couple more times just to familiarize yourself with it. We're going to bring, come back to center space. We're going to inhale, lift up, back to the sky, open up, and keep adding into our, our sequence. 
So we're going to come all the way back down for a moment, just a little break in between here, because I'd love for you to clasp your hands behind you, <clears throat> and just feel your shoulders kind of roll up there. Just a nice little squeeze. Now, mine go kind of far around, I've been doing this a while, you might find yours go just about there, that's okay. Just kind of feel yourself stretching out. What I'd love for you to do is, to start this sequence, this salutation, we're going to bend our knees, and when you let go of your hands, you're going to almost want to just tip the floor if you can. Keep your knees bent and come up to what's known as chair pose. Okay, we can toss a chair pose. So you see, I'm not sticking my bottom out too much, please. Tuck it under and kind of squeeze it all together. Big toes together, knees together. What you don't want is kind of like the knees a bit funny here. You want to keep those toes together, knees together. Reach your hands to the sky without the over sticking out or neck crunching. Just a nice sense of lifting. From there, exhale to that forward bend again, please. Exhale. Inhale, look up halfway again. And on the exhale, we'll go back down. We'll step, in this case, we'll step the right foot back just to change things up. And then the left foot back, okay? Again, we'll drop knees, chest, chin, elbows in. Pump, come a little bit forward to your belly. Tops of feet down. Again, that cobra. You may want to go a little bit higher, see how you're feeling. Okay, you're just kind of feeling those shoulders roll back. If you go very high, I just want to tell you one thing. It's fine if your back flexibility is there. But just avoid this crunching thing, okay? What we don't want is to just pop up and like this. That tends to happen. Better that we come a little low and there's space. Or if you are going high, your thighs start to peel off and your shoulders move back. And you're not crunching your neck. Your gaze is just slightly forward, okay? Tucking through, tuck your toes, tuck your chin in, lift those knees, and once again, our friendly downward facing dog. So, Difference is now we're going to move things along into warriors, warrior one to be precise. We'll step our right foot forward. So I can step my right foot forward, but this can be challenging for people. So don't be shy if you have to kind of take a couple steps and move it along with your head because that definitely does happen. Left heel goes on the floor on a slight angle, but your left back left foot's on a slight angle. Bend your right knee and you want to have it so you know, it's, it's, a pretty good, it's a pretty good right angle. You don't want to be sort of tilting to one side or the other so you feel quite solid. Lifting your hands up to the sky. Warrior one, take a breath in. Exhale, release your fingertips down. Come off your back left heel and see if you can sneak that right foot back in place for that plank or upper, pl uh, uh, upper push-up kind of position. Drop your knees to the floor again. Chest chin, mindful of your elbows. Tucking. Through, uh, letting the top toes come out, lifting up again. You decide how you want to stretch your back, which is mindful of your shoulders. Please roll them back. Exhale, releasing yourself back down. Tuck your toes, shift your weight back, press your hips back. Kind of feel that stretch again. Come back into downward facing dog. Let's step our left foot forward. And, you know, don't be shy. Move it along. This is actually a beginner class, so beginner tutorial. Right heel goes down. Things to work, look out for, that knee might want to cave in. Try to keep that nice right angle and things pretty solid here. Take a breath in. And then exhale, we'll come down. Come off your back right heel. Take your left foot, bring it back. Just find a nice sense of this plank position. Okay, again, knees, chest, chin. Toss the feet down. Reach up to the sky with your chest, roll your shoulders back. Exhale, releasing all the way down. Tuck your toes, shift your hips back again to your heels. And once again, downward dog. We're going to breathe here five breaths now. Breathing in for one. Exhaling. Breathing for two. Exhale. Breathing for three. Exhaling. Breathing for four. Exhale. Inhale for five. So we're going to take a little step forward again. It might have to be that you shove your leg along, but step your left foot forward. You can move it along. And then this one, maybe come to fingertips. Step your right foot next to your left. You can look up halfway and then exhale and bow. We're going to bend our knees again. We're going to sweep the floor again. Inhale, rise up to that sort of chair pose that we started with. And then exhale. You can draw your hands by your sides or into prayer, whatever feels best. 
exhale, good start, take a big breath in, nice exhale, <sighs> breathing in and breathing out, good. Let's continue, okay, we're going to inhale, rise up, we're going to exhale all the way down and releasing down here. Now, and we're going to inhale a little halfway. I love for you to step your left foot back in its own line, not behind the right foot. And this one again, put your left heel on the floor on that angle. But just open it up wide enough to warrior two. So the difference here, of course, the pelvis is open. A couple things to look out for that I see oftentimes people do. That back foot, sometimes people have it going outwards. You don't, or even just straight. You want it on a slight angle, slight angle, okay? Same thing with this right knee, in this case right on this side, the knee tends to buckle in, we want it opening up, okay? So we want to kind of open up that front knee, press that back heel, open up your arms, warrior two, okay? And again, try to find that right angle the best you can, the more you can find it, without exaggerating, obviously we don't want the knee over the ankle, just a nice kind of strong front thigh, you know, the better, the more you'll get out of it. Open your right palm, we're gonna flow a little bit, because this is of any asana flow class. And I love to just hold people here and flow with them. Breathing in. And then exhale your elbow to knee. And then inhale other way. And then exhale, left hand back down. Again, inhale, reach up. Exhale, elbow knee. And again, inhale, reach. Exhale, come down. Again, once more. Inhale, reach up. Nice stretch. Exhale, elbow knee. And inhale, reach up, exhale, back down. So come on into that warrior two one more time. We're going to windmill our arms down. Okay, we're going to come off our back left heel. We're actually going to drop our left knee down on this one. And I'd love for you to just kind of lift your arm up to the sky. Just a nice big breath there. Your arms up to the sky. Nice big breath. Feeling your hips come forward to get that stretch, that feeling of stretch. And then exhale, release your fingertips back down. Now, tuck your toes, lift your left knee off the floor, please. Take your right hand and reach it around you so you get this twist, this kind of opening the shoulders, yeah? And then we're gonna actually keep pushing in that front foot the best you can. A little, need some core here, probably a lot of core maybe, and lift up to that sort of high lunge. Exhale, release your fingertips down and just push your way back forward to the top of your mat, look up halfway. Exhale now, sneaking in. Inhale, rise up to the sky, opening up, breathe it up, lift it up, and we're actually going to go right back down. Exhale, all the way back down. Looking up halfway. Exhale, and this time your right foot, step it back in its own track. Draw your right heel down, and now we're just basically doing the other side. So we're opening up, warrior two. And you want to make sure if you were to draw a line from the front of your, um, from the front foot, the heel of your front foot, it would kind of end up in the middle arch, that line. That's the alignment you're looking for, okay? So now that you can see sort of from the, uh, the other side, and my back's to you, but you can see how I kind of have, I want to make sure that back heel, again, I'm not opening up my foot, I'm drawing it in. And again, that left knee in this case isn't caving in, it's just staying right over the ankle. And then I'm kind of squaring off, or sort of, sorry, sort of opening up my pelvis and lifting up. Squaring it in line with my, my chest and my hips are facing the same way. So let's do that flow. Open left palm, inhale. And then exhale, elbow knee. Nice inhale, reach up. And exhale, release. Again, inhaling, lifting up. Exhale, elbow knee. Again, inhale, reach up. Exhale, hand down. Again, once more. Inhale, reach up a bit bigger. Exhale, elbow knee, once more. Inhaling and exhaling. Opening it up, nice and deep, okay, the best you can. Wingle your arms down, come off of your back and right sort of heel. Please drop your right knee to the floor and reach up to the sky. Open it up, nice big breath. Take a breath here, just kind of leaning a little bit, you know, again, the pelvis a little bit forward and <laughs> bringing your fingertips down. Tuck your back toes, lift off that back right knee. In this case, take your left hand to the sky. Just a nice big stretch up to the sky. And then we're going to just try to sweep up to high lunge from here. So push into that back foot, lift up high to the sky. And then exhale, release your, finger, your fingertips down. Take your right foot and just push it forward. Look up halfway. Open it up, reach up to the sky. And then a nice big exhale as your hands come to prayer. Okay. Few more things. So we've done a couple standing things. 
now we're going to continue the last couple of little standing, standing bits for us to start a quick beginner flow. A little bit of balance, or a lot of balance, depending on your balances. <laughs> a little bit of balance, and then a little bit more sort of stretching out some of the key areas in a couple of other key poses. So another key pose that you might see, even if you've never done yoga, most people know or have seen a tree pose. You see a lot of posters when you know, people are advertising yoga. So one of the things you see sometimes, which is kind of annoying because it's quite bad form, is the foot gets pressed on the inside of the sort of knee joint in this weird kind of way. That's where you don't want to put it, okay? So we're going to go ahead and take a tree pose. If it's too unstable, just take your foot just a couple inches above your ankle. You don't have to, just right there is fine. Okay, you don't need to do it any higher than just there. It's just going there, okay? Well, we're trying to maybe, maybe, maybe take your foot, take your foot in your hand and bring it up to sort of the inside of your thigh, okay? So it doesn't have to go that high, but I'm just showing you the different versions that you can do, the different options. So every day our balance changes a little bit. See how it feels. Press that foot in and then just bring your palms in, okay? Another couple things, a couple things to notice. The left, in this case, left knee wants to come in. We're trying to open up the pelvis as much as we can. So, you know, shoulders draw sort of down and back. You know, pelvis draws sort of open and back. It's the sense of an opening. So, its tendency is to balance and try and, you know, be like this. Try to really keep everything quite open within this balance. One more breath. And don't worry if you're falling your way a bunch of times, this doesn't matter. Please step your left foot back about two thirds of the way back, so not too far, and it's on track. And just watch that your left foot is not behind your right. You have, they have sort of their own little separate tracks to work with, okay? We're going to reach up to this guy, and we're going to just bring our hands behind our lower backs. We're going to come into pyramid pose. We'll do it with the hands behind our backs. Just, I'm, I'm, like, I'm just doing this sequence assuming you don't have blocks. You don't have props, it's just sometimes nice to do just with that assumption because then we'll have to make do, right? <laughs> so let's assume we don't have blocks. We'll catch our hands and we'll just kind of roll ourselves down. So again, back to that sort of sense of rolling the shoulders. Maybe you feel a bit warmer and they start to roll their way around. Feel free to just kind of have a play with that. See how that works, okay? Take another breath, kind of bow your way forward. And then one more breath there. Reach back up to the sky, maybe slowly roll it up. Inhale, lift it back up. Exhale, your hands to prayer. Now keep your hands to prayer in your heart. Peel off your left heel so your left hip can draw downward. Bend a little bit your right knee to pitch forward with your chest. Start lifting that left foot, and we're going to straighten the right and left leg simultaneously as your left leg comes up parallel, you know, to the floor parallel. Lifting it here, taking a few breaths, flexing that back foot, breathing another breath. It's pretty strong pose, so again, you might feel a bit shaky. And then soften your right knee just a tiny bit to bring your left foot in, so you don't just jab it in through the joints. Exhale, releasing. Inhale, rise. Exhale, hands to prayer. Good. Let's take our right foot in. So again, you may want to bring it a little bit just above the ankle, like I spoke of before, or if you can get it up a little higher, go ahead and bring it a little bit higher, okay? It doesn't have to be, but just avoid that knee joint that sometimes you see in those posters, you know, you see on the buses when they <laughs> drive by and they're advertising yoga classes. You always see this. Okay, a couple more breaths. <laughs> a couple more breaths here. <laughs> Breathing in again. Shoulders are relaxed, you know, hips are open. Even if you're falling, oh, that's fine. You know, just try and keep a sense of lengthening. Through, the, uh, through this posture, very classic pose, the cross on a tree pose. And then step your right foot about, again, just maybe two thirds of the way back, you know, fiddle a little bit till you feel, you feel your right, in this case, the right hip's pulling back, you know, move it in line, just move your back foot. Your feet can move, you know, just because you step into a pose, a lot of times people feel like that's where they need to stay. You can just move it around, it doesn't matter, it's okay. There's a difference between fidgeting and shifting. You know, shifting is to experience something in its essence, to experience it, you know, in its depth. Fidgeting is just trying to mind the time before, you know, we get out. So fidgeting is a little different. It's got a nervous energy to it. This is, you know, it's okay to shift, all right? Breathe in, reach up to the sky, and clasping your hands behind you. Please lift your chest, and again, just coming forward to this pyramid, part of the Tanasana. Just, again, just kind of bring those shoulders where you think they can go. Try not to open up the hips, you know, Kind of a funny way, keep them squared off, just rolling those shoulders, breathing here, 
Nice big breath. If you find your you know you hyperextend a little, bend your knees slightly. If you if you do um, hyperextend or if your hamstrings are really tight, you can do a slight micro bend. And then sweep back up to the slight sky, please. Lift me up. Bring your palms to prayer. Come off your back and right sort of hip. Roll that heel off. And just start to lean in. You bend, you need to bend your leg to help you kind of come into this a little more gently. Then once you get your foot off the floor, then you can start to straighten through this left leg and bring those right toes, you know, in line a little bit more to the floor. Bring your right leg a little more in line. Take a few more breaths. Don't worry if you fall, feel shaky. Just come back into it. Another breath. And then soften, bring your big toes together. Inhale, rise to the sky, open up. Exhale, bring your hands in prayer. Nice work. Okay, let's get, make our way to the floor. Inhale, rise, open it up. Exhale, all the way down, releasing here. Breathing in. And nice breath out. Inhaling. And then setting your left foot back, low lunge. Drop your left knee once again. Inhale, right. Exhale, bring your fingertips down. Let's tuck our back toes. Let's lift that knee off. And this time again, let's try to step back into that upper push-up position again. We're going to drop our knees to the floor, shift our hips back a little bit, but instead of going and coming up into downward dog, we're going to reach up to the sky and open so our toes are tucked under. We're going to take a little back bend here. Camel pose. So a couple things that tend to happen here. I always offer the students, my students to tuck their toes under and keep their hands in the lower backs. What does tend to happen though is people as they go back, they start to collapse like that. We don't want that, okay? So breath up, breath in, sorry, breath in, breath up, breath in, roll the shoulders, chest up, and roll the shoulders back. And you can keep your toes tucked under, okay? Again, I don't know your flexibility, just because you're beginning it, you know, starting out with yoga, you might still have quite a flexible back, which means you might find it's more interesting to drop those fingertips towards those ankles, okay? And you know, spines are, are very tricky things, so if it doesn't feel right, don't worry about it. Keep your hands on your lower back. You're just trying to stretch a little more, you know, than where you were before. So we're starting from where you are. You know, we want to start, you know, from, from where we are. We don't want to just kind of go to something else that doesn't feel right. The tops of your feet come down. You can just take that a couple times if you'd like, or just kind of breathe into it for a good 10 breaths, a little longer. Extend your hands out, keep your hips in the sky, and just kind of stretch it out, breathing in. And breathing out. Nice exhale. I'm going to slide back forward onto our sort of bellies. Or we're going to come forward actually and onto our bellies. We're going to let the tops of the feet go and stay down this time. So a little different than the cobras we've been doing. We're going to clasp our hands. We're going to take everything up now. But very, you know, in some ways it's similar to doing the back bend. But now we're going to clasp our hands like we've clasped a few times like this. If you're feeling warmer, which I hope you are, maybe start bringing your palms together. Don't let your feet zip up. It's a bit old school, and to be honest, we know too much about anatomy now, and that tends to be from most people's lower backs, and sacrum is a bit too aggressive. So just a tiny bit of space. You don't want it wide, but just a tiny bit. And lift it all up. Again, things that tend to happen, the crunch. We don't want the crunch. Nice long necks. You know, if your hands are coming far off, nice long necks like you're shooting through the sky, you know, reaching through those toes. Opening up, nice big stretch. Exhale, release. Let your head rest to one side. Take a big breath in. Take a nice exhale. Lifting up your head. Second time. Clasping. Shooting up and lifting up through the sky. Just breathing here, opening up. Exhale, let your head go the opposite way. Just letting yourself come through for a few breaths here. Letting your head come through on the other side. A couple breaths. Lifting back up. We're just going to roll down, roll onto our back. So just a few more things. Almost done. Okay. So like I said, it's just sort of a half hour beginner intro to yoga. If you're going to be taking up yoga this year, hopefully. Inspiring me. There's so many more poses that we could do, obviously, but I'm just trying to show you some basic ones that you'll see probably in most classes you go to, and then at least if you practice it a few times, you'll have an idea 
Um, you know, when you go into group classes, so hopefully you feel like you, you know, you, you have a little bit of an idea of where you should, what you should do, and so you'll keep safe and you're not, you won't injure yourself. So bend your feet, please. We're back a little bit more back bending. Mean, bend your feet. Bend your feet. Probably bend your feet. Bend your legs. <laughs> Place your feet about hip distance. Your knees about hip distance. Okay, hip distance is not um, your flesh; it's your frame. So don't exaggerate. People exaggerate. It's another thing you often see in this. So just you know, the sort of frame of your hips, elbows come in and just do dig them in a little bit and then push into your feet, lift your thighs up and what tends to happen is we think we need to tuck our chin in, we don't. You pop your chest to your chin and that will give you space for your shoulders to work even more kind of underneath you and then you could take your hands and clasp them or you could just let them go to the side if that's too um, constricting or too limiting, okay, just open them up and take a few breaths there. Nice big breath. You know, it's a little harder to breathe because we're kind of squishing in our diaphragm. Let go of your fingertips, your hands, and just slowly roll out. Just kind of let your feet come in, your knees open up a bit, and just sort of take a few breaths there. Okay, we're going to do another one of those. Okay, we're going to add a little something on this one, but again, completely optional. I just, you know, again, I don't want to make the assumption just because you're starting yoga that you can have a certain amount of flexibility and athleticism already, so it doesn't matter. Maybe in this one, your fingertips are kind of closer to your heels, so you can kind of walk them in, and you push up again, but the, the sort of aim is to kind of walk a little more closer in, and maybe you, you, you grab those ankles, but if you find you're having to come up funny on your knees, don't worry about it, walk out, just have your fingertips, but just kind of giving you options, otherwise you can clasp your hands by your sides. Just a second round, okay, so just kind of opening up here, just find a nice sense of lengthening. Again, knees, you don't want to knock them out or, or in, so just keep the, fr the, the uh, frame of your hips opening up. And then exhale, releasing. On this one, just let your legs go out. And just shake them out a little bit. We'll counter that. Nice big stretch through your arms, through your legs, like as if two people have come and they've grabbed you and you're kind of stretching out through your arms, stretching out through your toes. That's it. And then bring your knees into your chest now, please. Just a nice little rock and roll, a gentle side to side, maybe your lower back. Just get a nice little, little roll, little massage. Then I'd love for you to just bring, keep your knees into you, but just kind of move your hands onto your right knee for a moment so you can lengthen your left leg. And this is just a lovely stretch. You know, even if you've never done yoga, you might have done the stretch plenty of times in other ways. Just let your right hand come out. Keep your left hand onto that, uh, that right knee. Just let your right foot come somewhere on your left thigh and just get a lovely lazy twist. I always say lazy, I just say take a gentle. So keep your shoulder pinned down. So you keep the shoulder kind of grounded. You don't want it kind of floating up funny. Just allow the knee to go over and around. Now it may be that you're, you know, maybe your knee comes all the way around towards the floor. Maybe it just stays a bit higher. It doesn't matter. It's that sort of, I say use that word lazy because it really is just like a sort of gravity is pulling me over and you know, see how you feel. Not, you don't always feel every day like, you know, you know, the most open and most flexible. So just kind of twist out your body there. Take a few breaths. It, it should kind of sort of feel good, you know, in this case, a real, you know, interesting, feel good stretch. Let's exhale. Breathing in. Breathing out. Maybe yes, every time you breathe, you might notice your knee goes a little further down. You might notice the twist in the upper back starts to happen a little more. But you want to just resist it a little with this right hand. Don't try to take it around. It's going to want to come off. Just keep it down and just enjoy twisting around. It's just okay if knee, your knee doesn't touch the floor. You'll get just as juicy a twist. Let it come out. I always say come into that little sort of funny uh, little bug on the floor. <laughs> Shake up. Bring those knees in again, please. Um, you might want to rock a little bit just to even out through the, the spine. Extend your right leg out. Let's take our hands up to our left. And same kind of thing. So your left hand will come up. Right hand will stay on the left knee. Now my left shoulder, you can't see, but it's, it's grounded to the floor, just like my right was a moment ago. And I just want to work. Again, don't be, you know, if this is where you go, if your knee's there, that's fine. You look over towards the hand, you look away from the direction of your twist, your knee is going, and you just enjoy there. You know, it might start with every breath, you might notice that your hips start to shift, 
and it starts to get a little more towards the floor. You know, if it gets there, fine. If it doesn't, let it stay there. Just relax. And if anything, I think of 70, 80% of your maps at the end here. You know, just to enjoy, you know, a nice few breaths and a good release, a good sort of twist that just kind of releases your body that you're not forcing or jamming. So just a few breaths here. Couple more breaths. And come on out. Again, extend your leg out, your left leg in this case. Again, stretch out your arms and legs, like two people come back to sort of stretch you out. Just get a nice, really big stretch. And then I'd love for you to just do nothing for a moment. So sometimes it's hard. Just arrange your body. You may want to bring your knees in once more and give yourself a little bit of a, you know, a little rock and roll. But then once you feel okay, okay with that, just let your hands melt wherever they want to melt, your side, your arms, your legs as well. Close your eyes, take a nice big breath in. Hold your breath. And then, oh, exhale it out. And do that again, nice big breath in. Hold that breath. Oh, with some sound, I'm using sound on purpose, so a big oh, clearing breath. And then just let a moment here, just doing nothing. Really important part of our practice. Just enjoy that sense of your body melting into the earth, your hands, your arms, your legs, everything relaxing. And everything just feeling like, you know, it's been stretched out, a little bit stronger, a little bit longer. You know, you just can take these few moments to enjoy this nice brief beginner practice. You can obviously stay here as long as you want. <laughs> For the sake of the video, as a sequence here, we'll just stretch out. If you want to join me, coming out of that, we call it corpse pose shavasana. Rolling onto your side, just kind of curl up onto your side, as if you were on your sofa and you just decided to kind of curl over and rest your head on your hand. Again, there's no right or wrong way here, so I'll just take a couple of breaths in fetal pose, rolling out to the side. pushing your hands to help you. You can take a moment to sit upright just to let your sort of blood come down away from your, you know, from drain back down towards your heart and just kind of come back upright. Love for you to take your hands just to the sky, just a nice open receptive gesture also encourages the chest to open. Take a nice big breath in. One more of those ha huh, clearing breaths. A few quiet breaths here at the end. Palms to prayer, hands to your forehead, hands to your forehead right here. Peace of mind, clarity in our thoughts. Hands to the lips, nice breath here. Much awareness in our words and what we're saying, just awareness. I mean, it's all, you know, kumbaya, but just awareness in what we're saying and what those consequences might be. And hands to prayer in the center of the heart, nice big breath in. Again, awareness in our actions. The things we do throughout our day, just clarity around that, just a nice bow forward. Just gonna seal off your beginner practice. New Year, New Year. <laughs> uh, that's what you wanna call it. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. So it really just meant to be a sort of a beginner practice, you know, just to get you, if you are interested in starting yoga, I just really, um, those are some of the things I see often happens when people first come to the practice, some of the little, little things that I just wanted to kind of share with you. So if you are thinking of starting a yoga practice, 
that you just feel maybe a little more confident, um, or you can maybe use the sequence to practice a few times before trying out a group class or going into a group class or in tandem with a group class just to have some of the cues that maybe you can't stop and ask about, but just to kind of know uh, some of those basic poses that you will probably see in most classes. So hope you enjoyed that. Feel free to send me an email if you um, have any questions, uh, Mercedes at yotown.com. And um, we will hopefully see you again soon for some of our other, our other videos, my other videos, my other sort of yoga practices, like everything from sort of the beginner to quite challenging practices. So maybe you'll work your way up and I'll see you there at the, uh, the, other, the other spectrum. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks so much. Namaste. Take care. Mm -hmm.